Hello, this is Melorian, and now this will be the fourth and final game of the Out of the Basement Open Tournament, and this is now going to be my Orcs up against some Empire. Alright, so this final game here, you just deployed like regular pitch battle, and uh, the main thing here that was extra, uh, it's just all based off of victory points, but for every core troop unit you have that start off as 20 models or less that uh, end the game with at least 50% of their models you get the worth of that unit added to your victory points so if you're a uh, monstrous infantry or something like that you times the size by three so it's not like you can take a horde of 18 iron guts and you know they're obviously going to survive and all those things but uh, one of the things obviously I was really worried about going into this one is if I was going to face you know wood elves or something where they could hide somewhere and just win because they survive but uh, luckily I'm up against this empire army and this was going to be a interesting matchup because it's actually a kind of a rematch I don't know if you remember it with that big huge block of knights but this is one where he'd faced before I had kind of trapped them with my troll charged with the black orcs he fled failed to rally and went off the board and that was just massive thousand something points to me so you know we're glad to, to face each other and this time of course at the smaller point size he has almost nothing in his army so to kind of go across he has four demigriffs he has his massive unit of inner circle knights in there he has a warrior a priest a level four of heavens and then also a general of the empire and then he has a steam tank, and that's his entire list is right there. So really, when I looked at this, not only did I think, oh, you know, it should be good because this is another guy where he's he's fairly competitive. He knows the rules very well, but uh, you know, he he comes up with these kind of. They're not really internet lists, right? I mean, there's other guys that are really competitive, and they'll come with their, their typical, you know, tech list list or you know, gut star or something like that. He. he has his own little thing that he came up with here with this big unit of knights and actually what I learned for this one is that he knows he's having a weakness going into this tournament he did not do well and uh, he, he knew that he'd have to really be very careful and see what happens but the main thing is he just wanted to go out there and see how, how he could do with this massive unit of knights so it almost wasn't really a, a power game thing like you'd see with other people with only three units it was more of a, a let's see how this would do if I didn't have all my support. Meanwhile, I usually don't take support, and I'm now thanking myself I, that I did, and this is almost like my little gift. You know, I'm going to have so many, well, the war machines just to blast apart those armor saves. I'm going to have all those redirecting units to, to do whatever I want, and really, I just don't see how he's going to be able to I don't, this is another game, almost like the second one, where I don't really see how I'm going to lose it because it's so much in my favor in the way that I see the game playing out. Uh, another thing helping me, too, is that there's that one building on the far right that gives uh, Frenzy and Hatred. So, man, those my Black Orcs are just going to kill stuff like crazy. So, really, what I plan to do is just really first go after the Demigriffs, finish them off, uh, start foot of gorking stuff, redirect the knights, hit them with one of my big blocks, take it down. Uh, depending on how things go, my black orcs might also go after that steam tank. And I mean with my strength 7, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to bash it really fast, especially with the hatred and uh, frenzy. So we'll see how it goes. So I get first turn and start off with some animosity issues. Uh, both my bunker and those wolves had to charge or do nothing, and so being first turn, they had to do nothing. And this is a thing here where I was happy where I put my level 4 in with my block works to make sure this wouldn't take away a magic phase. But for the most part, I'm in no rush. So I mean, the black works are fine pushing up, and because I mean, they'll take on whatever's there. But otherwise, I stay back, uh, get down a foot of gorks, smash on the demigriffs, kill some. Uh, two of them really, then I hit him with the Doom Diver, do another wound or something, and yeah, he passes his panic, and I'm looking pretty pretty already. His turn one, he pretty much sees his demigriffs have to move up or die, so they're just rushing up as fast as they can, and I mean, over there I got two chariots, so I mean, I should be pretty much fine, but the big thing he surprised me with here is he went with his knights, Swift Reformed, and are rushing over here to the right, and I was wondering why he would do that, but one thing I'm wondering if what he's thinking about is if he sends in the steam tank, there's a good chance I won't kill it right away so that then he can just go into me and, you know, flank me or whatever if I go into it. But the other thing is that with that building giving me frenzy, if I actually do manage to destroy the steam tank, then I'll be forced to overrun and then, of course, 
there's another flank. So it's a pretty good situation for him. So I'm going to have to be very careful with that. So on my turn two, I send both chariots into this unit here, and I, I feel very comfortable about this. My impact hits alone should kill at least one of them, and then between everything, I should be able to probably break him and then run him down, or if nothing else, you know, just grind down the last wound or whatever that's left. And the bad thing that happened in my magic phase is that what he did is he casted the big comet here, and it came down with a vengeance. So it smashed on down, it killed my troll, it killed the wolves, and uh, yeah, whereas all of a sudden I was like, yeah, I got all this chaff and I can do with them as I will. No, I have no chaff. Uh, the other thing you can see here too is my bunker decided to fail animosity again, and so they're, you know, giving me grief. So, my black orcs stay back, and I move up. Ah, sorry, yeah, I actually had one unit of wolves that was fine, because they had moved out of the way prior, so I'm just down two of my chaff units, which is kind of enough, actually. But, uh, my chariots go in, and I do enough wounds to kill everything, except for one model with one wound. So, ah, that kind of sucked. Uh, attacking back, he actually managed to do three wounds to me, which was pretty impressive. I won by one or something because he had the banner, and uh, yeah, it didn't break. So I'm still feeling pretty good. I'm sure that one chariot's going to die, but hopefully with all my attacks, I can finish him off. Otherwise, my magic didn't really do anything this uh, turn. He was able to shut it down with a scroll, I believe. And uh, the other thing, if I'm not mentioning it, he's using his cannon to take out my Doom Divers, and another one misfired. So it's uh, not doing as much damage to those knights as I'd hoped. His turn two, uh, the bad news is that he went and destroyed that one chariot, and then I did nothing back, I broke, and he ran me down, so whereas I thought I was going to be an easy win there, he's now netted himself a bunch of points, and he's going to be able to go and charge my last Doom Diver there. Uh, the other thing he did that inter was very interesting is that he kind of like completely changed gears. Now his knights swift reformed again, coming back here to the left side, and his team tank is showing me its flank, so... I mean, if I get off that charge, I'll now get tons of attacks against it. And uh, the only thing I have to worry about is he had another comet come down here. Or, well, he's cast it here. You can see it there with the red dice. And, of course, right now, if that kills my last chaff unit, he'll have a straight-on charge to my savages, which might be what he's planning. My turn three, the comet did not come down, so that's good news for me. Uh, the bad news is that my black orcs failed their charge, so that was kind of really disappointing because it wasn't really a long charge whatsoever, especially with the plus one movement banner. Uh, luckily, my magic phase went off very well, where with Hand of Gork, I was able to shift over here so that not only am I threatening the flank, but I'm also really close to that tower to be getting all that extra bonuses. And then I also was able to foot of Gork those knights, and you can see there that I killed a whole whack of them, so that's a really good way to go. His turn three, he has his demigriff going to my Doom Diver, and yeah, we know how that's going to go. His turn three, the comet doesn't come down again, which is, you know, really good news for me again, because I get to keep my chaff unit, and so there isn't really much he can do. Uh, the only thing he really has is his steam tank come into me, and this was pretty disappointing on my part here, because... You know, I have 12 attacks going at him when I have the Frenzy Great Weapons. With the reroll to hit with the Hatred from that building, I hit all but one. And then Strength 7 to Strength 6, I need 3s to wound, and I got 2 wounds through. And one of those he saved. So out of all that, only did 1 wound. You can see there, he did a ton of damage to me. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to grind this thing down in the long run, but I really expected to get a lot more in this first turn here. My turn four, I moved over my wolf riders to be redirecting from the other corner because it took me farther away from the comet, which is lucky because it came down this turn, killed a whole bunch of savages, but luckily everything else was safe. And then otherwise, you know, my magic phase really didn't do too much other than give my black orc some rerolls, and so I got another wound or something in, but again, very disappointing for what I'm doing there, and I really would like to kill this thing fast, and because, I mean, you can see he took his character outside of his unit, so if I can never destroy this on my turn, that'll be a pretty easy charge to do, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I just gotta kill this thing. 
His turn four, he decides, what the hell, and he goes after those wolves anyway, uh, kills them, decides not to overrun, to not, you know, show me the, the flank and all that stuff, and uh, otherwise he goes and keeps on grinding down my Blackworks again. He actually misfired this time for the, the type of thing he was going for and what it did was actually just give him more steam points so he took some damage but of course but then with all that did lots of damage to me uh so it's actually in a point now where i i am starting at a better spot where i might be able to destroy it but uh it's also getting tough because now his wizard there is casting magic on me which is making me you know minus one hit and all these things my turn five I was able to Foot of Gork the last Demi Griff Knight there, so there's some points in the bank. Uh, grinding away still at that one steam tank, still has three wounds left. And then the Savages, they do an okay amount of kills there. You can see I, I took a whole bunch off, but the problem is, is goddamn horses. <laughs> you know, the Knights didn't do that much to me, but the horses killed so many that I only won by... I think it was two or something, and then he held. So that was my big chance to really break him. But unfortunately, the, the horses took it away. But, you know, hopefully maybe I, now I can grind them down. And if nothing else, stay steadfast. His turn five, he has his mage come here and do the big version of the harmonic convergence. So get to re-roll ones. Uh, gets it off with a miscast, and then he lost three of his wizard levels. But the big thing here is that means that in combat, he's going to have a two-plus re-rollable save. So of course I can't do anything there. I lose combat. Luckily I'm steadfast and hold. And then up against the steam tank there, it's down to just one more wound left. My turn six, I just... <laughs> I just, okay, <laughs> this turn was really annoying. Uh, I was not able to destroy the steam tank, just whatever, between not hitting and not wounding and him making armor saves, it's still alive with the one wound. And then on the other side, again, I'm not too bad with the wounds I take from the unit, but then the horses go, and they kill something like five or six on their own, stealing away steadfast from me, and I break and I lose my savages. So it's just, oh, come on! But these things happen. So his turn six, this was kind of funny. He decides that, you know, if he's going to go down with the steam tank, he's going to take me with him. So he makes the steam tank blow up on purpose, just kind of for fun and spite, and it does a little bit of damage to me, but funny enough, it actually kills his level 4, so there's some points in the bank for me, so that's pretty nice, but uh, the way that things were set up, his knights also gone to the flank of my night goblins, killed all but two in the BSB, I broke, BSB auto died, but at least my night goblins got away, but uh, yeah, there's the game, pretty bloody. So we added it all up, but the main thing is that his big chunk of points here, the Knights were still alive. So with that, he was ahead by about 300 points, so it was a minor victory for him. But the, the big thing here was just that it was a, a really fun game. I mean, when I had lost, it's one of these games where it's kind of like the Lizardman one. We're going into it, I had a plan, and by my plan, I could not see how I could lose. But then, just the way things come down, with, you know, in this case, the comet taking away my chaff, and, uh, you know, me just somehow not being able to kill this steam tank until it killed itself in the last turn, you know, the, the tides turn, my, my chariots can't take out his demigriffs, I lose, and that's the way it goes. But the, the real difference here was that we just had more fun during the game doing it. So, you know, it was a, a really great way to finish the tournament, uh, after we were just you know, like laughing about the thing and just having lots of fun. So that was really good. And uh, man, it's just one of those things where <laughs> I really thought that my, my War Machines and my Chaff would make such a difference. But it's just one of those things where I, I usually don't see the Comet very much anymore in this edition. But it worked very well at uh, taking that Chaff away. So very interesting to see that. And uh, obviously with uh, two wins and two losses, I was nowhere near anywhere getting any prizes but i'll cover all the rest of that stuff in my final thoughts video so there you go thanks for watching bye